Hello and welcome to another Dynamics Consultants movie clip. Today I will demonstrate how timesheets work in NAV 2013. Timesheets are a new feature to NAV. They allow users to record time on a weekly basis. They are integrated with jobs, service management and kitting. Today I will demonstrate how timesheets can be used with service orders and jobs. Resources need to be enabled to use timesheets. Each resource will have a manager assigned to approve its timesheets. Today, I will approve my own timesheets. As a user, I open my weekly timesheets and select the one I want to update. I spent half a day preparing for a customer meeting. And I will link this to the service order we use to track the time spent on this project. The rest of Monday and Tuesday, I had meetings with the customer. The customer will not be invoiced for the time I spent preparing for the meeting, so I remove the flag from the chargeable field. On Wednesday, I had the day off. And on the other two days, I worked on another project. This time is managed using jobs. It is possible to create timesheet entries based on existing job planning lines for my resource. I will do it manually. On the right hand side I can check the time I logged this week against my weekly working hours. I have booked all 36 hours. I can submit the timesheet to be approved by my manager. For the next demonstration I am approving my own timesheets. As a manager I can go into the manager timesheets list and see a list of all timesheets I am responsible for approving. I can check which ones require approval and I can open the timesheets and check the entries. I can reject entries which are incorrect by selecting them and pressing the reject button. In this case I will approve them. If any entries were rejected the user will be able to correct them and resubmit them for approval. The manager can make comments against any entry. Approved timesheets can be used to invoice the customers. I will first go to the service management area. From the service order, I can access the service lines. I can create new lines from timesheets. The timesheet entries I associated with this service order are pulled through. Because the first part of Monday was not chargeable, NAV has created the first service line with a quantity to consume rather than to invoice. This means the customer will not be invoiced for the first four hours. From this point on, the service order can be processed in the standard way. Jobs work in a similar way. It is possible to create job journal lines from approved timesheets. I can apply several filters on the timesheet entries. Two journal lines are created, corresponding to the two timesheet entries I associated with the job. The task numbers have come through as well. Once the journal is populated, it can be processed in the standard way. 
This concludes our demonstration today. Thank you for your attention. For more details, please visit our website at www.dynamics-consultants.co.uk.